In the wake of WrestleMania 13, as audiences began to gravitate towards Stone Cold Steve Austin, a dark cloud began to form, separating the hitman from fans south of the Canadian border. First of all, I want to apologize. What? To all my great fans in Canada. For what? And to you, my fans right here across the United States of America, I apologize for nothing. You take a gunless creep like Stone Cold Steve Austin and beat him to a bloody pulp, even though you all know that he lost, you cheer him on the way back to the dressing room like he won. You don't respect me. Well, the fact is, the American wrestling fans can kiss my ass. Let me clear the air because I never, ever said I quit. You never got the job done. As Bret Hart's relationship with the American fans continued to crumble. Americans don't give a damn about family. The hitman would turn to his family to forge a new foundation. I'm asking you for your help because I need you. It would take more than numbers to rattle the rattlesnake. I'm finished with you. You'll have to kill me to be finished with me. The only way I'm going to get Stone Cold Steve Austin off my back is to end his career. Like a pack of wolves! One of these days, April 20th at In Your House, I'm going to look down at your grave. Here lies Brett the Hitman Hart, because Steve Austin whipped his pink and black <laughs> And that's the bottom line. Just don't go set up.